Medical errors are the third leading cause of death in the USA. Most of these deaths happen due to human error, meaning somebody made a terrible mistake. Statistics like these obviously provoke thoughts about how to avoid human error. To achieve this, it is important to understand the reasons for these errors. A model was proposed by Wiggins where a differentiation in types of cognitive errors is made, which are distinguished into four categories. Memory-based errors, errors in the plan for execution, errors in the interpretation of an outside stimulus, and errors that occur while actually carrying out an action. One of the memory-based errors is the lapse. A lapse is presented by not carrying out any action at all due to forgetfulness. The second error type in this category is the mode error, which is caused by performing an action in a system while it is mistakenly set to another mode. For example, if a doctor is turning a knob on a machine and instead of the patient getting drowsy, a loud alarm is triggered since the machine was operated in the wrong mode. Furthermore, there is a differentiation into mistakes. Knowledge-based mistakes are provoked by a cognitive overload of the user, leading to an incorrect action. Just imagine yourself in a stressful situation during surgery where you get important data in a complicated table mixed with unimportant information, but a quick decision is required. Rule-based mistakes, on the other hand, happen while planning an action. Operators believe that they identified a well-working rule in the past and apply it without realizing that there may exist exceptions to that rule. Plus, those rules are usually only based on personal experience without deeply understanding the system. Last of all, there are slips. A slip happens during the execution itself, mostly in routine tasks. With the gained knowledge, we can now return to the opening question. How is it possible to design machines in order to prevent human error? Some suggestions are Avoid multi-mode systems and if not possible, make the mode clearly visible. Offer reminders. A checklist can work wonders against lapses. Another idea is to create error-tolerant systems against slips and cognitive mistakes by second confirmation of actions or undo possibilities. And remember, don't blame the operator for human error, but try to create a better system supporting the human towards not making these errors.